Hi everyone and welcome back to another Wall and Witch podcast. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning and have watched any of my previous other videos, uh, thank you for coming back. Um, it means a lot to me. <laughs> Um, my name is Steph and I run Woolen Witch, which is a little independent uh, dyeing business in Bristol in the UK. Um, and this podcast is basically just me sharing what I've been up to, what I've been knitting for the last month, um, and my future plans and kind of <sighs> hopes <laughs> that I end up doing um, for the following month. The UK is still in lockdown. Uh, I am still working my part-time job, which starts at 3 o'clock in the morning, um, so lack of sleep is a uh, basically my daily routine. The news that we will hopefully, by the end of June, be able to go visit parents and family and friends and, and just go to coffee shops is... Oh, I really can't wait. Um, I haven't seen my family well in over a year um my mum and my dad and my youngest sister i've seen uh at christmas i popped down to drop off presents and that was basically it um and the last few months i've been getting more and more kind of homesick and just i don't know just seeing their faces and knowing they're okay um like yeah i'm just very <laughs> missing them really uh, which is a lot because I live about 60 miles away from them um, so it's not as though I got to see them a lot anyway but now that I know that I haven't seen them in over a year it's like mm, great. So for the past month uh, I've been working on lots of different little things. Uh, I will go through my uh, knitting what I've been up to uh, that way I think first um, and then I will update you on what's happening with Wool and Witch because um, it's very exciting. To start off with I am still knitting the juiced sweater but I have now separated for the sleeves. Very exciting because this is the first like uh, top down sweater I've ever done. Um, the only other sweater that I've knitted uh, was actually a seamed one. Um, and so knit in pieces and this is the first time that I've done one that's like all together so it's kind of exciting it's kind of annoying because it's not I'm not knitting it for me I'm knitting it for my boyfriend um, and I've got a good portion of the the body done so on me it comes up as a crop top uh, but because I'm knitting it for my partner I'm not sure he would appreciate it I've still got a ways to go um, but this is how far so I've separated off for the sleeves um, and I've done a couple inches underneath the armpit. The neckline is actually really nice um, I have been trying it on just to I don't know just trying it on I'm not gonna steal it honest uh, not really for any reason other than it's super comfy so I've been knitting it in King Cole's Forest which is an Aran weight recycled Aran weight yarn. So I've been holding two strands together uh, to make it a little bit thicker because I found um, when I measured the wraps per inch uh, it came up to more of a fingering weight, sort of double knit fingering weight. So I've been holding two together and then hopefully I haven't gauge swatched. That's my own fault. So hopefully when I wash it if it goes bigger then I, my partner will be fine because he wears his uh, clothes extra baggy uh, so it probably works out better if it goes bigger. If it shrinks it's a jumper for me. Win-win right? Um, so that's what I've been kind of doing a few rows every now and then. I've been taking it to work so I can do a few rows on my lunch breaks um, and then a couple times in the evenings. I've gotten really into my sock knitting. So last month I finished my fairy gathering socks and it really put a tilt on sock knitting for me. Um, and I felt so much more comfortable than when I finished my first pair of socks. 
Um, so I really wanted to, to knit more so I, I picked up a few different ones. Um, at Christmas I was part of a sock swap. It's basically Secret Santa. Uh, I was given a random person's name and address um, in the UK and I, I sent her a box with some uh, four ply yarn and little trinkets and stuff and then someone else gave me a box for Christmas. Um, and in my box I got some really lovely yarn from Fibre Fox in the colourway Rainbow Reflections and I I guess you could say improvised. I kind of, um, I didn't really follow a pattern, I just knit it for myself um, and I finished one sock the other day. You can see it better there. Okay. So really pretty pastely uh, colours like rainbow through it with uh, some grey tones as well and uh, like I said I didn't follow a pattern or anything I literally just went from a uh, cuff down and I used a German short row heel and then just a standard uh, toe with Kitchener stitch and stuff um, I really love this sock it's really comfortable I knit it perfectly to fit my feet which is a first for me because every time I've done it before it's always been slightly very slightly too small um, but this is perfect for my feet so that's really nice I've like half done a bunch of socks basically so I've knit one out of a pair I will get to the second sock uh, so that's the first sock that I managed to finish this month um, and the next sock uh, that I have done which very nicely leads me into what is going on with Wool and Witch at the moment. So at the start of the year I was asked if I would be interested in collaborating with Dimmy who created the Fairy Gathering sock pattern um, for her new sock pattern called the Phoenix Feather Socks. Um, and I obviously jumped at the chance and I created a new colourway called the Flames of Zandi and then I got so excited that I turned it into a kit so this month I've been knitting up a sample using that kit um, and I finished it the other week and I love it so this is the Phoenix Feather Socks uh, using my uh, sock kit colourways uh, so this main part is the Flames of Sandy and the toes and the heels are using Falling Embers um, which is this gorgeous, very autumnal looking orange uh, with greeny blue speckles in it, it's so nice um, and these sort of ready orange tones as well um, and the Phoenix Feather socks have these really beautiful chevron texture running across them so Demi's designed it so you can either have a tall long sock or a little shorty sock as well uh, so there's options within the pattern. Um, my camera isn't picking up the texture, I'm going to twiddle with some things. There you go. So you get this really lovely texture running through it and then it goes into just a standard uh, vanilla sock. Um, I have to say I really enjoyed knitting these ones. Um, it was nice to have the pattern and then it was nice to uh, kind of zone out to finish it off and uh, I, yeah I really love these, really love the knitting in them and I can't wait to do the second sock for this one. Um, I've already cast it on, I've only done the cuff though. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to put this down. Just as an added little treat and letting you guys know, uh, if you order the kit so that is 100 grams of Flames of Sandy and 20 grams of Falling Embers. Uh, if you order it through March, you will get the pattern for free. Demi is very kindly letting me give away the pattern for free. Uh, so that is either printed or as a Ravelry code. You will get that completely free with the kit, so at no added cost. Uh, but that is just until the end of March. After March you will have to buy the pattern separately. Uh, the kit will still be available uh, but the pattern has to go separately. So that was one of the big things basically happening this month um, and it, it was another project that I managed to finish. Well half finish. 
I done one sock, I've got to do the other sock. Um, the other things going on this month, so also this month I will be having a shop update. Uh, that is towards the end of March, so the 27th, Saturday the 27th, will be when this shop update goes live. Uh, there will be some new colourways, there will be colourways going into a clearance section uh, because I either no longer enjoy dyeing them or they've just not really sold. Um, so there will be a little bit of a sale and there will also be some new project bags. Um, so I've been testing out my sewing again and uh, not along so alongside my drawstring bags there will now be these little caddies and uh, they've all got pockets along the outside plain fabric and then just plain white inside um, I thought they'd be nice and handy around the house um, I've been dragging mine everywhere I've been putting uh, like my reading book and my knitting project and then my phone in them and dragging it around everywhere with me as a little tester and I absolutely love it so I've been bringing that in with some brand new fabrics as well so I'll have a few of those up and available there will also be uh, past boxes from my subscription club as well so there will be the January February um, and March so if you missed out on ordering them this month um, and previous months you'll be able to get the uh, any leftover colorways and the stitch markers as well will also be available um, if you haven't seen those ones I can't show you Marches yet because they haven't gone out but January and February's uh, look like this so this was January's So it's a nice little crystal with some foliage. And then February's is a little daffodil. And I really think you guys are gonna love Marches. Um, by far, it's it's my favorite. It's so pretty. Um, and I'm, I'm really happy with the design of it um, and how they look. Uh, so I'm super excited to offer those ones up as well because I had quite a few stitch markers left over for those ones. We went a bit OTT. Yarn, there are a few mini skeins left over um, but it's more stitch markers that I have left over so if anyone would like those. They will also be up on the website for the shop update as well. My next shop update after this one won't be until May, I think. April, March, April, May, yeah, it won't be until May. Um, I will be doing two shop updates, so you'll get a double bubble. Uh, one will be at the start of May and one will be at the end. That is because I am doing two virtual markets. These will be my first ever live virtual markets on Instagram. I have never done one before, I'm really excited. Uh, the one at the start of the May is the Fiber Block Party, which is a brand new market. And then the one at the end of May is the Yorkshire Yarn Festival, which I am really excited for. Uh, so keep an eye out for those ones. Um, if you join my newsletter via my uh, website, uh, you'll get little reminders of when this is happening and um, anything that's going on, um, along with a bit of sneak peek to see which colourways are going into my clearance section. Um, bit of a retirement party for those ones. Yeah, so I'm I'm super excited for the coming months. Um, I have don't really have any other plans other than just spend the entire time in my kitchen dyeing yarn, uh, that's, uh, and at my sewing machine making more project bags. That's the other things as well. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to share. Uh, my mind is kind of racing with stuff that I need to get going on. Otherwise, I'd probably chat a little bit more. Um, I really hope that you guys are having. A good month um let me know what you guys are up to if you're working on any other projects or anything like that i really love to see them um and and have a bit more of a chat and everything um so thank you so much for watching and have a great day bye guys just realized my heater is going Ta-da. I bid thee 